Some elements within Sonar have several possible states, for example, buttons and knobs. These graphics can vary depending on whether it's active or the cursor is positioned over it, or if a knob is turned. For this demonstration, we'll edit the Record button. Locate the button strip in the Theme Browser, in this case, the Arm for Recording element in the Track View. You'll notice that it isn't just a single button, but various different button states in a single strip with a transparent background. That's indicated by the grey and white checked area. Open this strip for editing by either selecting it and choosing Edit from either the Home ribbon or the right click context menu, or alternatively, double click the strip. Once open in Paint.net, press Ctrl and the plus key several times to zoom in. We're going to change the colour scheme of the buttons on the strips. An easy way to do that is with the hue and saturation controls found in the adjustments menu to change the colours. Once the control dialog is open, use the hue control to change the actual colour of the scheme. The saturation fader controls how intense the colour appears. The lightness control can be used to control the overall brightness of the images. And once we're happy with the changes, save the image and close paint.net to return to the theme editor. To confirm the changes, click on OK in the editor's Open for Entry dialog box. Depending on the element being edited, it may be necessary to change the same strip in different views should you wish to have consistency across views. The Arm for Record buttons has several entries. An easy way to locate multiple versions of elements is to use the search function at the top of the theme browser. In this case, an identical separate element is used in the console view. The easiest way to make this identical is to copy and paste the track view version. Right click over the edited element and select Copy from the context menu. Switch to the unedited element, right click over it and select Paste. Note that the target element has to be identical in size for the paste command to be available. Similarly, control knobs have multiple images in a single strip. Open a strip of knobs in paint.net using the edit command, and in this case, I'm going to customize the step sequences control knobs. If we zoom in, we can see the multiple knob graphics. Let's change the dark gray to a lively looking red. To make this as quick as possible, we'll zoom back out again. Another easy way to change colors is using the Recolor tool. First, set the primary color to the color that we want the knob to become. In the Recolor toolbar, increase the brush width to a nice large setting so that minimum amount of brushing is required to recolor each knob. I'm going to set hardness to about 50%. This adjusts how sharp the edge of the tool works, and in this case won't make a great deal of difference because the tool is set much wider than the graphic. Tolerance is also set to around 50%. This setting changes the tolerance of the tool, and the higher the setting, the more likely a shade of the color close to the first one chosen is to be replaced. If you find parts of a graphic aren't being recolored, increase this figure. If too much of a graphic is recolored, reduce it. Make sure sampling once is set. This ensures that the first color clicked on sets the color to be replaced. As long as the left mouse button is held down, all color replacement will be based on this first click. For ease of replacement, scroll the display fully to one end, and for the best result, zoom in so that it's easy to pick out individual pixels. To start color replacement, left click and hold on a darker pixel with the center of the tool, then sweep drag the tool the full width of the button graphic. Because the tool has a wide setting, it's easy to recolor all of the knobs in a single swipe. Stop when all of the knobs have been recolored, and then save the edits. Return to the editor, confirm the changes, and load the theme into Sona to view the results.
Meters too can be customized. Locate a meter graphic in the theme browser and open it for editing. I'm going to make a simple edit that adds a little more emphasis to the audio meter display. First, either select a new color from the palette or use the color picker tool to choose an existing color. I'm going to use black. I'll use the line tool to add some emphasis between the meter bars. Select it from the toolbox. Click hold at the start point and hold down the shift key to constrain the line direction and drag to the end point before releasing the left mouse button. I'm drawing simple straight lines around the colored segments of the meters. Save the edits, return to the theme editor and confirm the changes. Save the theme and then open it in Sona to view the results in context. You can see the meters now have more emphasis around the display.